How did everyone at work find out? How did that come out? Why did you decide to leave? Um, and the leaving didn't have anything to do with it coming out. It was okay. actually people were really good about it. Um, so, you know, me thinking I'm super smart and blocking Ontario from viewing my Pornhub, mm-hmm. obviously people have VPNs and things to get around it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not foolproof. Um, somebody had seen like it, it was getting really popular and a lot of views. It was hard to to keep people from seeing it. Yeah. So somebody at work found it, shared it. Um, it word got around. And originally it was our union rep who came to me <laughs> and was like, so, you know, there's, you know, some, some word of some things that are out there on the internet. Um, and she was concerned for me that it was not okay to work my job while this stuff was out there. And that, you know, her initial reaction was take it down. Um, and then I questioned that, like, I think she was genuinely concerned for me. Um, I questioned it. I was like, are you telling me that because it's your opinion that I need to take it down? Or is it because there's actually a rule that says you can't be doing adult content and working this job? Mm. Um, She wasn't entirely sure. So she like sent me to the next, like the higher up person in her boss. Oh my God. Who also was like, I think you need to take it down. But I'm like, I don't want these, I think you need to answers, right? I, I need like concrete, you know, mm-hmm. if if there's a conflict with my workplace, I need to to know about it um, or work around it somehow. But I, I'm not just going to take somebody's gut feeling, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, or, you know, their concern. Um, so she put me in touch with the legal department. Um, oh <laughs> like just, and like at, at the time, like I'm, I'm thinking about it and I'm like, I don't use my real name. I don't do anything that has to do with my workplace. I don't do, um, you know, nurse cosplay porn. Uh, like what I'm doing is legal. There was nothing. So I'm like, what? And I, was, I started reading through all like the fine print. And when I, you know, first signed on to my job being like, is there something in like the the terms and conditions? And like I'm racking my brain being like, am I doing something? And I didn't realize I was doing something wrong. So I had a, a bit of panic at first. Um, and then my meeting with the the lawyer from like the, I don't like college of nurses legal team. Um, <laughs> she called me and I told her what the issue was. And she was like, I wish, I wish I could remember what her name was because she was so great. And I could just hear the excitement in her voice because she's so used to having these like, you know, medical practice issue, legal issues at the hospital. And she'd never been asked about adult content mm-hmm. and if it was a conflict. And she was so excited to do research me to find out if there was any issues yeah. with that. Because she was like, this is way more interesting than the stuff that people usually use me for right. in the hospital. Yeah. So she w- she went off to call me the next day and she's like, I can't find any reason why you can't. She's like, what you're doing is legal. And like the things that I listed, you know, I'm not in any way involving my, the hospital or my job. So she gave me that answer. I was like, yes, I'm going to keep doing it. I went and talked to my manager um, at work. I was like, this is what I'm doing. Some people at work know about it. Um, and my manager was amazing. She was just like, honestly, she's like, you do you. What you do in your personal time is is your business. She's like, just come to me if anybody at work treats you any differently because of it. And that's not okay. So she's like, I've got your back. Like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a good employee. And, you know, this is my personal life versus my work life. It doesn't have anything to do with it. So that's an amazing <laughs> reaction because I know, so I don't know if you heard about this, but there was a case in Oregon and I can never remember her last name, but she was, uh, her name was Nicole and she was in the adult industry for like a year, decided it wasn't for her, left and went and got a real job as so many people, you know, yell at sex workers to do. And she got kicked out of school because they found that she had done porn in her past. She wasn't doing it anymore. Just in her past. Right? Just yeah. in her past. And they like pushed her out of the school and she ended up suing the school and she won, nice. which was really kind of amazing. And it's just so interesting to me that, you know, these people were coming to you and saying, well, you should probably take it down, but they they didn't think about it, right? They didn't think it through. They just thought uh, sex work and like- It was like a panic reaction. Yeah, exactly. Like sex work and healthcare. Like you can't do these two things, even though they're completely separate. Um, without actually looking at the fine print or like, is this an illegal thing? And, and you know, why should it be illegal, right? Like there's no actual real reasons besides your own bias. And um, so it's interesting that you had to go through all those levels. And I love that you challenged them. Mm-hmm. And they were like, oh, I don't know why I feel this way. I don't know why I'm saying these things, I guess. Maybe you should talk to somebody else who 
would know why. So yeah. that's really interesting to me. And I'm glad that you had that experience. I am too. Like it made me feel so much better. About, yeah. I mean, not that I felt I, like I never felt any any shame or any, any, I never felt bad about what I did, but I was very aware that people have misconceptions and have a lot of biases ab- about it. I know that there's, you know, the, the history of the industry isn't always, you know, has not always been in a good light. Um, but I was just really happy that like, that's how it, how it turned out. And that was kind of the trigger that, you know, we got rid of the, the, the geo block on, on Pornhub. Mm -hmm. Um, because like, and you know, I have all these discussions with my husband when these things happen and we're like, us hiding it kind of gives into that, that, that idea that it's wrong or that it's bad or that it's, you know, you're feeding into that stigma, right? So why, why should we be trying to, to hide this from people? So that was the, the trigger to kind of, open up more with, we didn't tell everybody right away, but it was like a slow process. Um, but that was sort of or like the more we, we lean, lean into being like, yeah, this is what I do and it's okay. And it's healthy. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing and it can be a good thing. Then, you know, people have less fuel to be like, yeah. On you. <laughs> yeah. When they see that, like you're embracing it and yeah. you guys have a healthy relationship. Um, it's hard. It's harder. Right. Yeah. So like if I had, if I had been like, oh no, I'm going to take it down. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Like then that's. Yeah. You're just. Perpetuating that narrative. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 